Well, this is the part where we come together, we discuss the message. And Mauricio, when I first received your message and started translating it, I said, what is he reading my mind? I had been talking to Miriam about the exact same things during the week. I remember we used to say that about when Rabbi Percy would give the message. And I was, you know, I was feeling almost like, you know, I, I, we do the, the service week after week. And sometimes it just feels meaningless. Um, are we playing congregation? Is, do we really have a, a purpose in this world? This little, this little remnant of a group and, and, you know, and I was struggling with issues in my family. And then I'm reading about what you're going through. And I said, my goodness, it's amazing how, how God works in our lives. And, and then when I got the, you know, the news this morning from um, my friend, from uh, uh, my Israeli friend who's on with her daughter every minute in Israel and to see what's going on. I mean, we know that the only way that our people as a whole are going to turn back to God is through the going through the fire, through the struggles. And um, my life, I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing. I wouldn't be sitting here today if it weren't for all the the struggles in my own life that I had to go through that made me stronger, that gave me a, um, a, a sense where I really know that God is with me every moment of the day. And, and uh, we have to pray that for, you know, for our people in Israel and around the world to come to know our God. That's the only thing that's going to, to make any change on this planet. But your, your message was excellent. Thank you again, Maurice, you, especially knowing that, you know, that you've been having so many problems at home and, and the sadness that you're going through. Um, you can certainly relate to the sadness that's going on in Israel today. Um, I'm sorry to hear that you, your eyes were bothering you or are you feeling a little better? Maybe you have a lot of stuck tears. Uh, you, you may have too much crying, I think. Uh, sometimes it comes out in our physical body, eh? Yeah. Anyway, thank you again for the message. Miriam, you have something to, to report? Yes. Um, thank you, Mauricio. Very beautiful message. And it's, it's as Peggy was saying, it, it's we've been talking about that sort of thing. Well, we do all the time, but the idea of, of the spiral of life, you know, that we return to the same place, but higher a little bit. And I find that's absolutely true in my own life. Even at the worst times, I think, well, um, I'm, I'm, at, I'm not at this, I, I'm handling it different, or my relationship with God is different. Even if something fleeting went through my mind, and I don't want this to come true, but I was just thinking, like, if this is the, you know, if Armageddon is on the way or whatever, like I'm praying for Israel, what is our part? And, and if, if um, believe it or not, my own recent sufferings, have almost made me, uh, I'm not, I, I, and maybe I can't explain what it is. I'm not better equipped to deal with it but because I don't want to go through that kind of pain. But God is makes us stronger through our pain too. But I wanted to say, I love what you said about shells, all those spiral shapes in the world, shells, and, and uh, um, I forget all the other examples you gave. And it's God is such a God of order that you see these things you know, even there are certain cycles of seven that happen in the insect world. I don't know enough about that, but I know that that's a very important. All these cycles and spirals are, are you know, things aren't random in, in, in the world as God created. And that's so special. Anyway, thank you for the beautiful message. Yeah, I love how the... I'm sorry about your hardships right now. Yeah, I love how the rabbi spoke about when we're walking with God we're on an upward spiral. When we're not, it's a downward spiral. And we can see that. And it, it's true it's that sometimes we it, we seem to have to be going through exactly the same thing, but we are more equipped to handle it. We have more <laughs> wisdom on how to handle it. And it's interesting because this week, um, you know, I'm, I'm preparing for the fall, but I've taken in a table and and that was on my balcony. And I, I left a couple of chairs there to just to be able to sit. And one morning I got up and I saw a big spider had made a, a web just 
from the wall of my apartment to the chair and it was and i saw the 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 spiral just like you're talking about and it was so beautiful that i didn't have the heart i figured the spider's going to be gone soon just leave it there normally i hate spider webs <laughs> but this one was it was mystical to look at the shape of it was incredible and then miriam said that she had read somewhere that there was back when lsd was so popular and i'm sure it still is they they did an experiment with spiders and they fed the spiders lsd and the webs were chaotic the spiral was no longer there because of this craziness of the drug but it's true life life is a spiral and we find ourselves sometimes in the same place but better equipped to handle it i could not have been doing some of the things that i'm doing now if it hadn't been for a tragedy like the death of our rabbi i would never have seen myself reading the scriptures the way i do every week doing a torah class for you know for everyone doing a mess it never would have happened and and the you know there's the tragedies that we see happening in the world and even in our families there's a reason for them all yes um you know for me it's it, it's um it's incredible for example today is october 6 and seven. this day seven remember to that yeah seven. seven yeah but uh, on, on on october 6 Yom Kippur start right in in in, in the 70s right so so it's incredible how again there is a war in israel i know and it's interesting yeah. that uh all these attacks begins because today is the last day of of of, of according to to the sages right honestly uh which um the the, the book of of life is closed according to our sages so it's incredible how israel has been attacked today right and, and you know that the, the and it's sad how people uh, all this hamas okay spirit i would say goes to all different nations and start to to practice sinat hinam right and and, and and there is an incomprehensive hatred against israel and all the nations or, or that love israel and and it's incredible also how how there are so many governments that cannot see that there is a a, a terrorism there um and, and, and they do not condemn what's happening. Um, and, and, and what I can see is um, the people really need to have this intimacy with God. Because when you are close to God, your life changes. Okay. Um, and I was thinking about this, this because it's easy to say, oh, uh, go and have intimacy with God, okay. <laughs> and, and and it's easy to say, uh, keep this today, keep this day to have a, 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 a an appointment with your God. But what is really exact exactly to have this? I mean, um, when 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 you have an appointment, um, in my case with my wife, for example, we don't give information, okay? Uh, and, and it's easy to, to, to fall in this because most of the, oh, there is a, there are different levels of communication, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, in, in, in relationships, more people, honestly, there, there are different levels. The first one is just to give, uh, just to say hello, bye, and, and that's it. Okay, that's one level. Probably this is the level we have with, with our neighbors. Okay, good day, good afternoon, good night, and, and that's it. And and you go and you say hello, bye. Okay, that's a very basic. Okay, <laughs> then we have another level, okay, in which we talk, but 
but we give only um how do, how, how can i say that uh in, just information okay? you share information yeah you share information and the problem is that the information you give is according to what the what, who is the person next to you okay right. you reserve for example in, in your work yes you give information about your your job at home probably uh, it's sad because you know uh, people know exactly where are their kids what they are doing uh but it's only information okay Right. Uh, and, and, and it's just a, a level of 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 knowing people, but honestly, you don't know. You know about that person, right? But you don't really know that person, right. okay? That's why we can see, for example, uh, oh, this is a serial kill uh, as a, as a scene. People and people say, "Oh, we don't know. We we never." Uh, presume about that because they never talk really they right. they never have intimacy okay so they could not prevent any problem right. so in this level mm -hmm. most of the persons uh, are going through okay but there is another level of intimacy okay which is not really to give information to know to say i am alive no it, it, the other one is to search into the heart, okay? To to know exactly what are you thinking, what are you feeling, okay? What are you, um, what are your dreams, for example? What are your fears? And, and, and so, in this relation is not open to everyone, okay? Mm -hmm. Because honestly, we, we, we only can open our hearts to those who are very close to us and those who really cares about us. Okay. We trust. So yes, we trust in them. And, and so I what I'm what I'm saying is um uh, that this level of intimacy you you cannot open your heart to everyone. Okay. But the problem is that there are so many persons that they do not open their hearts to anyone. Right. They only keep inside, inside, inside. And the problem to do not open uh, is is about uh, to 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 have a, a problem. For example, that you explode someday, then you start to cry. You don't know why you are crying, right. uh, uh, and and things like that. Um. In, 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 in what is the level that God wants that we have with him okay right. so to say hello is oh God I need to eat today please send me some food okay right right is it is good but that's it oh thank you Lord because your nature is so marvelous and I love that your nature okay that's okay <laughs> okay but the second level is is about to give information. For example, yes, I want us to, to study the Torah and I'm saying it's not good, it's really good. But for some persons, it's just an information. It's just a letter, it's only a knowledge, okay? Uh, and there is another level which really God wants to have, and this is Judea, okay? To, to know exactly God, you know, I am not perfect. You know my searching me, searching my heart, because there are so many things that I fear that you know that I fear. God, you know that, that that I fear about the future. God, you know I fear about the future of my kids. God, mm -hmm. you know I am I am really worried about Israel, what is happening there. And how this could extend to 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 all the nations, right. and God also, you know that I want to do this and that, and and you know start to to really open your heart to 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 and, and to have a, 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 a the capacity to grasp, okay? Because I I cannot find out any other word to to say that that there is some light that you can grasp and take 
for you and say, oh, thank you, God, you, you, you answered me. Oh, thank you, God, because I know you are hearing me. And, 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 and you know, you start to 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 walk, and 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 I remember uh, what 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 the Torah says about. Uh, remember Enoch, Enoch in, in the Bible, in Bereshit, he said it says that Enoch walked with God. Mm -hmm. Okay, he was not really perfect. Okay, he was a human. In in, in 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 even Enoch was not Jewish, okay. By the way, right? Nobody was. <laughs> nobody was at that time, okay. Right. So, but he walked with God, and in 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 only I can see how the Torah uh, exalt uh, or put him in a in a very uh, a position that few persons could stand, okay, right. to say. Oh, he 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 walked with God, and, and and there was no Torah, <laughs> right? And, and, you know, so uh, but 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 to walk with God, honestly, it is it is it, when you start, for example, to have a relationship with intimacy with with another person, then you start to see how this person influenced to you, to your habits, to mm -hmm. your culture, to your way of of of, of express yourself to communicate etc and then you adopt many things that you didn't have and then you start to practice and 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 it's not a conscious act it, it is unconscious really mm -hmm. and then when you say oh this person is walking with god then you start to see their fruits okay because they start to show kindness mercy love help another care about other persons mm -hmm. visiting the the person at hospitals feeding the the pools uh doing their job very responsible in a very efficient way they care about the the cost of the companies etc 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 and then you you can see how the influence of this person start to 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 change the environment that is around them so you start to see person how they in their level of knowledge behavior etc start to grow okay and this person now you can see oh this man or this woman is walking with god mm -hmm. and, and and this is about intimacy okay mm -hmm. it's not only a concept it's a way of living Right, okay. and, 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 and that's why I love really how Simchav and Joseph said, okay, there is, uh, you, you translate uh, as intimacy, uh, I can remember, bond, I, 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 uh, if I, I'm not wrong. Yeah. Uh, it, 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 because I would say link, but it's not really link. Uh, you uh, so a passionate bond. Yeah, a passionate bond. Yeah. Yes. So it, because then you 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 when when you have this passion, this passion, this way of passion is not a blind passion. Right. Right. That you do whatever you do and you can see. Okay. No, it is it is a very open in con cognitive way of of see the things clearly okay? right right so that's that's exactly for me uh, what is intimacy and mm -hmm. and then god is the fire and and we can become this flame okay and and, and change our environment yeah probably we will not change the whole world no. because God gave us uh, free will but you can change your environment and more special you can share yourself about how to see and how to to face the problems right okay so that wow that's very 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 deep it's beautiful I, I was thinking as you were speaking about because you know relationships have as you said different levels God said, tells us, and you know, Jeremiah told us, do not trust in man, 
because we never know who we could trust. And so it's hard to have more than one really close friend who you could tell everything to. And it's very rare to find that in this life. It's good to have a, um, and, and I know people who will only allow me to share information with them and not go anywhere near who they really are. And in my own, even in my own family, um, you know, sometimes we hurt each other when we open up too, too much um, and we don't want to, to feel that hurt. It also depends on our upbringing and on our characters, how much we're willing to allow ourselves to be, have an intimate relationship with somebody. It's not easy, um, especially for somebody like me who's so goal oriented or not goal oriented, um, such a doer. Like for me, I share information easier than I could share my heart. So I, I don't even, I don't even know my own heart at times. I don't even know if I can trust my own heart, you know, and um, I'm grateful to have Miriam as a close friend mm -hmm. because we've been through many of the same things and we go on long walks. We could walk for three hours and, and in that time, you know, we can open our hearts to each other because we've grown to a place where I think we can trust each other. Um, but there are things that other people just cannot relate to, um, you know, and then we have to find someone else to talk to about them. I can't really, um, we, but it, it's, it, it's what you said is so true. And, you know, and I look at what's happening in Israel right now, I have a, a close, a good friend who's a, who's a strong believer in God from Israel. She lives here and her family is in Israel and, and uh, she speaks to them just about every day. And she tells me how right now in Israel, the Sinat Chinam is horrible. You know, we don't have to worry about the Sinat Chinam of the nations but we have to worry about the sinat chinam among, our, among ourselves. Talking about free hatred. Free hatred. Okay. You know, the Orthodox, the very religious in Israel are so uh, angry and fighting with all the, the secular people and, and the secular people are, you know, fighting with everybody. The, 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 there are people, you know, just driving cars. You think road rage in, in Montreal is bad. The road rage in Israel is horrendous they they're beating each other up horrible things that i hear about going on in israel and and when i say these things it's not that i'm being anti-semitic my heart is breaking because the only way that the outside nations can touch us is when there's such hatred among ourselves that it caused the destruction of the second temple you know when when we fight among ourselves and is, is when the, and the, there's no unity, uh, we're divided, and that allows the enemy to come against us. Um, and we need to be united and like Enoch, like you said, walking with God. And I pray that our people would turn around and walk with God. You know, my own brother, my brother was born on Yom Kippur on a Shabbat. And he is so far from God and so far from, from the people of Israel. You know, he, it's like, it doesn't mean anything to him. And that breaks my heart because I look for signs. And to me, a sign is that October 6th in the year he was born, you know, it's, it's a double Shabbat, a Shabbat Shabbaton, the Shabbat of Yom Kippur, but it doesn't mean anything to him at all. And he's gone. He married somebody who is, is is like an orpa not a ruth and he's with their family you know not with the family of god and and i'm i just have to keep praying for him because if i try to speak to him he thinks i'm i'm a religious person i'm stern you know if god tells you to do something you got to do it but it's not it, it, and i feel terrible if that's how he thinks i am because if i come across like that that scares me, you know, how am I communicating to my, to people around me? Uh, I have to really constantly pray, God, know my heart. God, show me the things that I'm doing and, and, uh, and humble us. You know, today I woke up and I was so happy. 
I had read your message, Mauricio, and I was rejoicing. Shmini Etzeret was made just for us to have an intimate day with Israel. And, and even the, the weather here is raining and miserable. I was happy. And then I got the news of what was going on. And I couldn't believe it. Like, what? You know, and then part of me says, wow, it, this is the only thing that's going to get our people to turn to him. Nothing else. He's got, we've got to go running back to our God and how else, but by crying, Abba, Abba, you know, I, I received one video where one woman was, the bombs were right down her street, black smoke everywhere, people running, people screaming. And she was going, Imale, Imale. And it's mommy, mommy. It's so, oh, my heart was breaking to watch this. And, and I got an, uh, an email from Avner who is, um, uh, he lives in the desert in Beersheba, Avner Bosky. We've been friends for many years, and he's a Hebrew Christian. And even, but you know what? He's got such a heart for God, but it breaks my heart that he's a Christian. And because it, not that I care what we believe, it's not the belief, but if we're making Yeshua into a God, then we are going against our God. And how can I say that to him? I mean, I've said it to him, <laughs> but it's it's like it he, he doesn't it doesn't mean anything right now. I was talking to Miriam about Yeshua because I was asked this week by oh, uh, somebody who's we're in contact with, and he said to me, he's Jewish, and he said, "Why do you even bring Jesus into anything that you're doing?" You know, why is it important you know, that that you even talk about him? Because you're separating yourself from the rest of the Jewish community. And I had to go in again, think about it. You know, I haven't answered him properly yet. That's why I did send out an email to our, the people in the congregation to see what you think about that and how you, I, I mean, I know how you, Mauricio, see Yeshua. But it seems that different people still see him in a different light. Um, it's like he said, why do you need Jesus? And I what said, I why would I need Moses? Exactly. You know, why would we need any of our prophets? He was a prophet. He was, Yeshua was a, a prophet. He was the one to me that Moses spoke about that that would would come to bring us back the Torah. That's how our rabbi taught about him. So it's not that I need him as a person, but his teaching is what brought it, would bring us back the same way. Maybe that, because that same person, um, what does he think of Moses or she think of Moses? Well, I asked him that. And because to me, it's the Bible is a, 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 is a, a really earthy historical book and God has... Uh, uh, you know, chosen many people to be, have a special part in this. Not doesn't mean that they're God. We all have a special role, but this is a book that actually took place. We could attach historical dates, and Moses was, and the and the prophets had very important roles. God used them for spe a specific time. You know, that's why I like that chapter in in Acts in the New Testament, where it says God has put us into history at a certain time, a certain place. That's all of us. You know, we all have roles. I have a role in my family. You have a role. I, anyway, so Moses was really important. God chose Moses as to receive the Ten Commandments. Not, not God didn't give, Mo, uh, Moses didn't bring the Ten Commandments. God chose Moses to be there at that time. And, and the same with Yeshua. That's the only way I, I can understand it. Yeah, I thought, a lot with who Yeshua is. Yeah, I thought of Esther, even at that time. Esther was called for such a time as this. Mm -hmm. Each of us okay. here are called for such a time as this. You yeah. know, when you bring the messages, Mauricio, every time I read them, <laughs> I say, wow, how did it happen that you came to meet Rabbi at a time a few years before he would pass away, and then you would be bringing messages. You never imagined that. 
Here's it, it's to me, it's incredible what God does. How does he raise up these people for to be? I guess we're all a light in our in our communities, our light in our families, a light in, in the area where God has put us. And, you know, it's funny because there's times I never feel that I'm doing enough. You know, I want to do more. And then I see in one moment, God is using Hamas to get our people to open their lives. You know, we we just don't know what's happening and we don't know what's coming. I, I try to picture that happening right here in our city, like all of a sudden bombs falling and, and you know, we'd have to really... Uh, um, oh, you know, maybe that's when people will open their eyes. We can't imagine in this country, but we see it there. Anyway, this I'm just grateful for our, our community. I'm grateful for the messages. Again, thank you, Mauricio. I, is your family feeling a little better now? I know it's hard to lose a pet. I know what Miriam went through when she lost her pet. Um, yeah, so... Um, maybe you'll have another pet soon. I don't know. It's hard to replace. You can't replace a pet. You can't replace a person, but you never know. Anyway, is there anything else we have to say about the message for today? If not, what we'll do is we'll say Shabbat Shalom. Stay, let's stay in touch with each other. Let's continue to pray for each other. Brian, we pray for you that you will heal and be well. Rhonda, we pray for you. Glad things are almost finished in your home, that your home's safe with your, with your family. Stay in touch if you hear any more from Francis. Please let me know. That's Rabbi Percy's sister who is now in Israel, in case you missed that at the beginning. And she's been hiding. I think she, you said that they, they had to run into the shelter 25 times. Is the whole family there? Uh, only Ken and Francis. Ken oh, and Francis, yeah. And they're in Gad 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 Gadera. Isn't that what's isn't that in the New Testament, Gadera, where they had the sheep, uh, the, the pig farmers from Gadera? Um, I seem to remember that place. It starts with a G. I don't know. Yeah, I think it was. I'll have to look it up. The G Gadarenes. Wasn't it the Gadarenes? Is that that is could that be in Hebrew? Maybe from Gadera, it's possible. Yeah. yeah. Um, where we continue to pray for the Alvarados. They have a, a wonderful uh, uh, opportunity from, they use their home to reach out to so many people. We had a beautiful Sukkot. They had um, uh, young Jewish men come to the home last night and celebrate and so God is really using them to bring our people to know him. Isabel, thank you for, for your participation. You stay in touch with Mildred. She's close to you. And um, Etid, may you be a light in your, in your family and help them to, to understand the Torah. Again, Mauricio, thank you for the message. And we wish you all a Shabbat Shalom. And as much as we can, we can rejoice in Shmini Yetzirah on this eighth day when our Messiah, Yeshua, our rabbi, our king, our prophet, our priest, our judge, he was so many things. And um, when, but he was not the God of Israel. There's only one God, <laughs> but he was a very special no. man. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Yeah. Shabbat shalom. So Shabbat enjoy shalom. the day. Enjoy the rest of the. We'll see you again during the week. Bye, Baruch. Love Bye, you, Baruch. Baruch. Thank you, Mauricio. I think we put Baruch to sleep. No, he's okay. Yes. Baruch. Sorry. Bye. <laughs> Bye. 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 Shabbat shalom. Bye. Bye.